we have this line segment, this line segment, and this line segment. And so um, this is labeled as A, this is labeled as B, and this is labeled as C. So we have these three line segments and they have lengths. And problem number 23 says construct a right angle with a base B and a height C. So we need a rectangle with uh, the base equals B and the height equals C. All right, cool. This is easier than you think. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to take a straight edge and draw a really big line. Whoops. Well, that didn't look <laughs> What happened there? It didn't work out the way I wanted it to. <clears throat> Why isn't it? What's going on with that? <laughs> yeah, that's no fun. There it goes. All right, I don't know if I have enough room now. Well, let's move the line down. All right, cool. Put this out? Don't distract me, I'm focused. All right, so the base has to be what length? B, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to arbitrarily choose a point here. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to, whoops. Oh my gosh. Stretch her up. I'm trying. My smart board isn't being very smart today. So now I, I drew this really big on purpose, and I'll explain why in a second. But I'm just going to make a point right here. Okay? So now to copy the length of B, oh, I hope I didn't make these too big. Can I, can I get C with the compass? Yeah, so maybe Mr. Adams needs to change the length of these. All right, so. You no, you can use the exact length in the book, but you could just draw it out on the side on your paper. It might be easier. Um, so now, anyways, um, oops. I need the base to be B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Basically, get this about right, like, right like that. Okay. So now, if I take this and bring this down here, rotate this around, and put this on my point, and whoops. Oh shoot! Now I got to remeasure it. Did you see what I did? Yeah. That was <laughs> and uh, one. Okay. Okay, so now this length from here to here is the length B. So that's my base. So now I need to construct a perpendicular line to B. This is where it gets tricky. I'm going to have to construct a perpendicular line that goes through this point. So I need to be equidistant from that point and then do something else. So what I could do is I could draw a smaller circle, and I'm actually going to come and just draw a full circle. Okay? Now, this is where it's going to get really weird in a second. So now, what I want to do now is I'm going to go to this edge, and we'll change the color. And I'm going to go a little bit, whoops, I'm going to go a little bit out from the center. Make sure I get this on the center section pretty darn good. And then I'm going to make an arc. So I'm going to draw this way and this way. Then I'm going to move over here to this angle. Okay. And I'm going to construct 
these two intersections. Now, by doing it that way, notice that when I draw a line through my two intersections, it's going to draw a perpendicular line through that point. Does that make sense? Wait, how did you get those yes. Things? Okay, I took, just to kind of recap, I took, this is the, the arbitrary point that I started with, the little red dot, right? And I chose just some arbitrary length B, like that, and I, I just went through and drew a circle, right? Now, you don't have to draw the circle. Truthfully, I could have just drawn like a little arc here and then come around and drawn like a little arc here, okay? I could have done that. Then, from that point, what I did, is I went through, we're gonna do it again on the other side, so you'll get another chance to do it. I went from here, from those two intersections, and I made, I made sure that I went out past the point, and I made two sweeping arcs. So I, I swept from here to here, right? And then I went over to this intersection here, and I rotated around, and I swept from here to here. And what that does is that gives me a perpendicular bisector. Um, not, not bisector, but a perpendicular line um, that goes through that point. Does that make sense? So now what I need to do is I don't know how long this line needs to be, but I'm going to make it kind of long because I know it needs to be at least long, as long as C, right? So it needs to be at least this long. So let me slide the screen up a little bit, and I'm going to go right through those two intersections, and I'm going to take my red marker, and I'm just going to draw my line, okay? Does that make sense so far? Now what you can do, this is where it gets tricky. When you make arcs and stuff, it gets a little messy and you could lose track. You can erase the arcs once you've constructed the line. So you could come in with your pencil and erase this. No, you, you no longer need it. And you could do the same thing here and erase this because you no longer need it. And you can erase this because you no longer need it. You'll, you'll get in the habit of um, like making those arcs real light with your pencil. But still, even then, it's like kind of hard to keep track because you do a lot of arcs. So now, how do I find the length of C? Well, I'm just going to take my compass, and I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to rotate that bad boy around to here, and then make sure that it crosses through almost. Okay, see what I did there? Now I'm going to move my straight edge out of the way and bring my compass to this point here, and make sure that I get that pointer right in the center of the intersection and just make a little arc. Okay? So now this length from here to here, that's the length of C or the height of C. Okay? Now, how do I, what, what's the next step in this process to make some parallel lines? Because rectangles are two sets of parallel lines. Well, I need to make a parallel line to my first line, so I'm going to use the corresponding angle theorem or the, the converse of that to do that. So what I want to do is I'm going to take, the, this is a lot of tedious work here, I'm going to come back to this intersection, okay, and um, I'm going to make a sweeping arc like so. It doesn't matter how long it is. Then I'm going to come over here, and I want it to be the corresponding angle. So I'm going to go where these two intersections are, a little higher, and I'm going to make a sweeping arc this way. You guys with me so far? Wait, based on the measure of B. Hmm? You made, like, just a random angle on B. Yeah. So, yeah, because this is going to be angle 1, and then this will be angle 2, and I need to make sure they're, because they're corresponding, they're going to be congruent. So now... I'm going to measure the arc length from here to here. Get that in there real good, like that. And then I'm going to come up to here and draw my little... So now if I take my ruler and 
and go through those two intersections those two lines should be parallel right does that make sense So now, here's an interesting thing. I could make a second set of parallel lines through this point here by making another corresponding angle. So if I take uh, my compass and I put it back here at the intersection and put it right back on the line, I'll do a different color so you guys can see it. Now I'm going to make another sweeping thing. Oops. And I'll put that right here. And I'm going to make another sweeping arc. And then I'm going to So now if I draw a line between that intersection and my second point, now I have my second parallel line. Okay? Does that make sense? So I've constructed a rectangle Okay, so now if I clean this up, uh, let's delete that. And let me do, now we'll just do orange. So now I've constructed, whoops, that's not bright enough. Let's do like a pink. pink. I want you guys to see it from the back. Yeller, magenta. Purple would be good. So now if I if I, I've constructed It's too close to the same boat. Yeah, it's the same. It's not dark. Keep doing Now I've constructed this rectangle, right? Um, that has the base B and the length C. 